girl first starts skateboarding, something magical happens. A skateboard is like their flying broom. When you get on a board, you literally feel like you can fly and go wherever you want. When I first started skateboarding, I didn't really have any friends and I didn't really understand how to talk to people. There would always be these boys in my middle school and they would skate every day after school and I wanted to be their friend so badly, but I only had a broken little skateboard and I didn't want to embarrass myself. So I asked my dad, please, can I get a real skateboard? He says, sure. So I finally got my first real skateboard and it was pink. So the next day, I was so excited. I finally had a way to talk to these boys and I showed them my new skateboard. First thing they said to me when they saw it was, yo, that board sucks. I was like, okay, whatever. So I didn't want to waste my dad's money and I wanted to skate, so I started skating anyways. Started skating by myself after school and I would just look at these boys and see where they put their feet on the board and I actually start copying them. They didn't pay attention to me at all. They didn't even know what I was doing until I actually started learning tricks. That's when something changed. I remember one day I was at the bottom of the skate park and I landed my first trick called a kickflip. I remember there was a boy at the top of the skate park and all I could hear was him screaming, that girl just landed a kickflip. Now they wanted to talk to me. So I started skating with boys. They started teaching me all their tricks. It was the first time I actually had friends or so I thought. Then eventually something happened and I actually started getting better than them. <laughs> this is when a lot of things started to change. They would start saying things to me that they never said to me before. They would say things like when I'd fall, even though all of us, when we skateboard, we fall all the time, they'd say, you know why she fell? Because she's a woman. And they'd all start laughing with each other. I was confused. You guys were my friends two seconds ago. Then there was this one boy that I'd always Facebook chat with. And one day, he started an argument with me that he never talked about before. And he said to me, you know that there is basically no point in girls skateboarding because a woman is never going to be as good as a man. I said, what? What are you talking about? I'm a girl and you know I am. Why are you saying this to me? So this is when I realized I actually need to find some girls to skate with. So, I couldn't find any girls in real life. There were none there. So what do we do when we can't find people in real life? We go on the internet, right? So, I went on YouTube and I went to the search bar. I just wrote, Girl Skateboarders, New York City. Only one girl came up at this time. Her name was Rochelle. She lived in Long Island and she killed it at skateboarding. I started becoming friends with her because we started commenting on each other's YouTube videos. Then eventually, we talked on Facebook for two years and then eventually, we met in real life at an all-girls skate jam and the first thing we did when we met each other was we just gave each other the biggest high five possible and we just started copying each other's tricks, teaching each other things. It was so awesome to finally have somebody that felt just like me. So I had this one friend now. 
but she lived far away, and I couldn't see her all the time. So I got a job in the meantime at a skate shop teaching children how to skate. It was really cool because I was the only girl working there, and the little girls who came to get skate lessons finally had somebody to look up to. So I worked there over the summer. It was super fun. Children are special because they don't have an idea in their mind yet that somebody can't do something because they look like this. Or somebody isn't supposed to do this because they are this. They honestly just believe that anybody can do anything, which is amazing. So after working with these kids, I found something out that really bothered me. I found out from my coworkers that were all boys that I was getting paid less than them for the same exact work. So I quit the job. Because I don't think it's fair for a girl to get paid less than a boy for the same exact work. So then I realized girls need to start doing their own thing in the skate world because this is not fair. When you're a girl, when you first enter the skate park, it kind of feels like you're an animal in a zoo. You walk in there, and there's so many people flying around. Everybody's staring at you. And you feel like all these judgments are being made about you before you even step on your board. Oh. Can you actually do tricks with that? Oh, you actually ride that? No, bro, it's an accessory. <laughs> it's like my purse. No, no. You feel like as if everybody expects you to be bad at skateboarding already just because you are a girl. When a boy first starts skateboarding, nobody cares that he sucks, he just started. When a girl first starts skateboarding, she does not even get the chance to try before getting judged by everybody. This is what makes it so intimidating to enter the skate park in the first place. Once you have another girl in the skate park with you, however, it changes the whole dynamic. It feels like you have backup. It's kind of like your teammate, but it's like your life teammate because you're gonna skate with them forever. So, as time went on, I started meeting more girls that wanted to learn how to skateboard. In my high school, there was this one girl, her name was Dee Dee. She was in my gym class. She came up to me outside of school and she said, I saw you at the skate park over the summer but I didn't get a chance to say hi to you. Hi. I was like, hi. We're going to be best friends. So we started skateboarding every day after school. It was so fun. Then there was another girl. Her name was Ajani. She also wanted to skate, but she didn't have a skateboard. So I had an extra one, so I gave her her first board. Now we had not a huge group, but a smaller group of girls, and it felt awesome. When you're in numbers, it eliminates intimidation. Then one weekend, me and the first girl, Rochelle, were on the train. She was visiting from Long Island, and we were just on our way to go skate somewhere in Brooklyn. And we met a film director named Crystal Moselle. She wanted to do a short film with us. We were like, cool. And we got all the girls we knew, and we made a short film. This short film inspired us so much that we decided we wanted to be a group all the time. So we decided to call ourselves a name that Rochelle thought of when she was younger. And it has to do with a really bad joke that women are supposed to be in the kitchen 
So we're skateboarding in the kitchen. Get it? <laughs> so now we had this group and we started showing ourselves to people. We started making social media accounts. We started making an Instagram. We started filming ourselves skateboarding and we started posting it. The feedback that we got was incredible. I didn't know that that many girls that actually skateboarded in real life existed. We got messages from girls all over the place saying, thank you for posting videos of you guys skateboarding. This is inspiring me to skate even though there are no girls where I live. Even boys would message us too and they'd be like, this is so cool. I've always wanted to skate with girls but I just have never seen any around. So now we had this platform and we had all these people watching us. But I wanted to do something more with it. I wanted to start seeing these people in real life. So I went on Instagram and I started making these posts on like your story. Everybody knows stories. I'd post the day before and I'd say, come to this skate park at whatever time. Anybody who wants to show up, show up. And to my surprise, during one of the first sessions, almost over 30 girls showed up from New Jersey, from Philly. One girl came from upstate New York. They all just came because they wanted to be with people that felt just like them. So when we'd have these sessions, we literally took over the whole skate park. It was so cool. We felt like we were a school of fishes swimming through the ocean of the patriarchy. <laughs> it felt amazing. So when you're a girl, certain things may be said to you, unfortunately, from an early age. People will say things, even with colors, oh, you can't like that color because this color is for boys, this color is for girls. Or, oh, you can't do that. You're not tough enough for that. Or, that's not ladylike. Why are you doing that? There's not that much support with this in the skate industry either. There was recently a magazine interview that was published in a very famous skateboarding magazine. And it was an interview with a pro skateboarder He's very well known. His name is Nigel Houston. And he got asked a question. What do you think about girls at skateboard? His literal answer was, some girls can skate, but honestly I believe that skateboarding is not for girls at all. Not one bit. Well, this is wrong. And this is going to continue to be wrong because girls are going to continue to do what they're not supposed to do. Thank you.